Hello again. Um, so after some considerable, and I do mean considerable, amount of research, I was finally able to get Sickbeard to run on startup. Um, so if you remember my last um, last log, we got it installed and we had it running. Um, but you had to leave the SSH uh, channel open so that um, it would keep running. So uh, that was quite easy to figure out um, how to go get that to run under silent. But um, obviously, we still needed to get it to run at boot up. So uh, it actually ended up being a little bit easier um, than what I was reading. Um, somebody's simple little line made everything super easy. Um, whereas it could have just been said at that. So I'm going to show you what I have found and then what I actually did that actually works. Um, okay. So unfortunately, you'll have to bear with my notes um, because, like I said, I, I found the information from a lot of different sources, uh, just too many to try and uh, list them all. Um, this was probably the main one that I had gotten most of the information from. Uh, and this was in openstora.com, their wiki page there, uh, installing Sickbeard. And at the end of their installation, they had how to get it to run at startup. Um, you can see the areas in red here are a lot of my initial notes on how I got it, what I had to do to get this, this script even just to run. Uh, and do what it's supposed to do. Unfortunately, um, the initiator in um, check config uh, really did not like it. So um, it ended up being I just added changed a couple lines and everything worked seemed to work perfectly. Um, now, if you remember when I installed it, I installed it as root, so I don't have a user group to. Um, to uh, change the owner to so that they can run it. Um, so I actually did not do this step. Um, but if you have a, if you want to use, run it under a user group, this this here, the sudo uh, change owner uh, command is what you need to use to go ahead and uh, get it to work under a user group. What we're going to start with is here, um, and I will show you what I entered. What um, this will open up the nano text editor. Um, and then it'll create a file called sickbeard.sh. And then originally, without all the red in it, they wanted you to copy this entire file in here, make some changes to it that customize it to um, your media center. I'm sorry, Open Media Vault, and it should work. Yeah, it didn't. I don't know if it's because I used uh, under installed under root. I don't know what the problem was, um, but a lot of these. Um, you, uh, dollar sign users and home, I, those all got removed. You can see where I changed some of them. I just put it into uh, like Python. They use 2.5. Um, I just use the uh, I think it's the 2.2, which is just Python. My location is obviously different than theirs. Um, and let's see. Of course, I also changed the IP address and. And I also changed, um, you know, the when you go to shutdown. So now this worked really nice after I made all these changes. If I ran it from the um, SSH, but I it did not wouldn't start on boot up. Um, a whole bunch of errors. I can actually sh uh, it'll sh I'll show you what some of them were because uh, it'll even still do it on the small tiny script that I put in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, the nano uh, to open up the sh file that I have now. So I'm going to go into the directory where I have that, which is in opt. And we're going to go into secure directory. So now you can see uh, we're now in there. And then I am going to run that nano. Okay, this is what I took that big giant script that they had there and squished it down to. I could have even made it smaller um, by removing the root and 
replacing that with Dallas End User uh, a little bit later there, you can see in red. Um, but I was just deleting stuff out of the file, and this is what it ended up being. Uh, this works. Um, and I'll show you how in a little bit. But I just put in, you know, the, uh, the header in there. But this is user root, which you can or you do or do not need to put in there. Uh, if you do run this under a separate user uh, or a user group, that's what needs to be there. Um, and then I have a change directory into where my sick beard, uh, into my sick beard folder under op sick beard. I have this echo in there. That doesn't need to be there either because you don't see the boot up, um, you know, when you're running this remotely, which that's what it's designed for. Uh, and then under uh, the bin super user, I have it run, um, which of course it's going to be root and option C. And then have it run the Python command and then run the opsickbeard, sickbeard.py. And this was that quiet command I was telling you about. This is so if you were actually to run um, Python, sickbeard.py quiet, it would, um, it would run, it would start. And then it will put you back in the command line. You can close your SSH, uh, which, are, um, and it would it would keep running until you stopped it. Uh, which obviously there's no reason to stop it, so I took all of that out as well. Um, so then I saved that. Uh, it didn't ask me to save because I didn't make any changes. Uh, so now the next step here is. Um, okay, so that that giant file there. All right, we need to uh, do a uh, chmod to it uh, so that we can go ahead and put that into the startup directory of init D. So let's go ahead and do that now, just for giggles. Like I said, it's already done, but it's not going to hurt for me to do that again. Um, all right, plus X. All right, yeah, and it's just that simple. And it goes ahead, go ahead and does it. Um, just remember when you're running this, um, that if you got to be into the sick beard directory of where you have it, or you would have needed to put in the does the same thing if you were to run it from the um, you know from run it from your um, your root okay uh, next is we're going to need to copy it into um, into the init D sick beer okay so fairly simple we'll go ahead and do that and copy is just simply as or CP secured SH to the ETC in it dot D or slash secured. Um, oh, <laughs> well, good, perfect example. Uh, what I was saying and why you need to put in. Um, if you are not in the directory where this is at, then you need to put in opt where it is at. Now it works. Okay, uh, so now it's copied in there. Now, for the most part, you're done. There are a couple other steps under here. Um, if you had this original one here after my changes, uh, you can test it to see if it works and after my changes it did I could start it I could stop it everything was hunky-dory um, but then when I went to go run this uh, sbin check config um, first off it said you had no idea what the heck check config was and sure enough when I went into the sbin subdirectory check config was not there um, so what I simply all I needed to do was use our good old friend sudo app get install check config, boom, and put it in there, and show you here. CD sbin uh, list of directory, and 
originally that was not there so then I put it in there um, and all I did was uh, sudo apt get install check config all right um, and then it went ahead and through you know went in there and asked if you want to make the changes you hit yes and it went ahead and updated it obviously I've already done that so it says hey you don't have anything new you're an idiot um, so it didn't do anything now unfortunately that was useless because um, the steps that they say you need to do to get it to start which is to run this and then add sickbeard it completely threw up um, came up with a bunch of errors, wouldn't run it. That's one of the reasons why I condensed it down. There are some reasons why it did it. I'll get into that in a little bit later. But let me show you what those errors are. Because I'll, oops, hold on a second. Talking about things here and throwing out. All right, uh, so the idea was to run, all right, and then we want to add Sickbeard. Theoretically, this adds this to the boot sequence. And there it goes, throwing up. Uh, I looked up what some of these errors are. The majority of it, the reason that it has this is because it's not in the correct uh, structure that it needs to be in. Uh, oh, well, well. Uh, same thing happens when I run the second command that they list here which is the same check config and then levels two three four five six period it actually had no idea what the heck levels was so I don't know if this was an older check config um, and they changed it now I even tried using some of the more updated of set uh, sick beard to on it it still threw up had no idea but um, I did test uh, how things were running now and it actually does start on boot up. Uh, and I will show you. Yeah, not that way. One second here. Sorry for my ton of windows here. Uh, I've been busy. Okay, so that is the sick beard. It is running. Okay. So now I am going to go here, and we're going to go ahead and, not that way. All right, now we're going to go here. We're going to go to Reboot. It's going to ask me, do I really, really want to? Yes, I really, really do. And if you notice in the uh, SSH, it says, hey, it's going to go for Reboot now. So then we're going to go back to here, and it is in the process of rebooting. takes forever to stop the script I think we're there Let me give that a second for it to error out and there it goes stop so it's proof that it, it has stopped while it's running or while it's rebooting Just waiting for it to come back, uh, waiting for me Vault to come back up. And I really hope that it doesn't start um, checking my drives, which takes forever. No, I'm still loading. Do, do, do. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. And let me log in.
All right, so Open Media Vaults back to starting again. Now I'm going to go back to here, cycle it again, and there it goes. It is back up and running. Um, and I actually was able to see it start up. And I'm going to probably make a few people sick here as I move my camera around so that I can show you something here. Okay, um, and if you, as you can see, uh, after as it was starting up, went to here, sick beard, and it started it. Okay, so looks like it is running. Um, I'll go through some of the configurations of sick beard. Uh, my next log. As I start moving some of the uh, configurations I already have and the one I have running on my Windows uh, PC over to um, over to now MediaVault since it is running and you know start up.